Hi, I'm Ben Nippon and welcome to the BB2S Helmet User Information Session. On behalf of Bombardier Recreational Products, Inc., I would like to thank you for purchasing the most sophisticated and technologically advanced helmet in the industry. The BB2S, with its unparalleled comfort and visibility, brings helmet design to the next level. During this information session, we will describe the features and benefits of the BB2S helmet. You may want to have your helmet with you as we review. Keep in mind the user manual is an excellent reference tool highlighting the features, operation, and proper usage of your new BV2S helmet. Be sure to read it and thoroughly understand its content. Before we begin, let's review the components of your helmet. The face shield or visor, the sun visor, the jaw assembly, the breathing mask, the chin strap and buckle, the wind deflector, the LED or light emitting diode rear light. Now let's begin by reviewing some of the BV2S helmet features. To raise and lower the visor, simply place your thumb or forefinger on these tabs and lift. When closing the visor, listen for the clicking sound indicating the visor is properly closed and sealed. This lever, located on the left side of the helmet, lowers or raises the sunshield for those sunny days. To open the jaw assembly, depress the two buttons on either side of the adjustment knob simultaneously and pull down. Always ensure both your visor and sunshield are in the up position before opening the jaw assembly. The jaw assembly can be easily removed by pulling gently to release it from the helmet like this. Be sure to adjust the chin strap length. Extra chin strap length can be made available by releasing it from this buckle. To release the buckle, press the red button in the center. Before riding, secure the Velcro chin skirt on both sides of the helmet to provide maximum protection from the wind. The jaw assembly must be locked on both sides and the face shield must be fully closed with the breathing mask properly adjusted to ensure exhaled breath passes out of the helmet. Listen for the two clicks to ensure the jaw assembly is properly secured. Always be sure to wear appropriate protection against frostbite, which may include the BV2S balaclava, a neck tube, or combination of these items depending upon your desired level of comfort. We do not recommend the usage of open face type balaclavas as their extra thickness may cause the breathing mask to leak inside the helmet. This could result in fogging of the face shield. One striking feature of your new BB2S helmet is the highly visible rear LED light. This unique feature will enhance rider visibility in low light or low visibility situations. To operate the light, press on this push button to turn it on or off. Now that we've reviewed the proper fit of the helmet as well as some of its key features, let's review in detail the operation and adjustment of the breathing mask system. This section will be key in maximizing your helmet's performance and your riding pleasure. We'd like to suggest you remove your jaw assembly and work along with us as we review. One thing you will notice immediately is that the breathing mask moves freely in many directions. The goal here is to find the most comfortable combination according to the shape of your face. During inhale, warm moist air from inside the helmet is drawn in through these valves located on either side of the breathing mask. When you exhale, the warm moist air passes through the valve located in the center of the mask, directly outside your helmet. By inhaling and exhaling this moist air, you are regulating the level of humidity inside the helmet. Always ensure you're using the right exhale valve for your riding conditions. The valve with no perforations is used in extreme cold conditions under minus 15 degrees Celsius. The valve with three holes is used in less severe conditions between 0 and minus 15 degrees Celsius. And in warmer riding conditions or at high altitudes, we recommend removing the center valve altogether, allowing for maximum performance of the breathing system. Do not forget to carefully inspect the front outlet valve for alignment by removing the front adjustment cap. Okay, now that we've reviewed how the breathing mask operates, let's review how to adjust it. Earlier we demonstrated how the breathing mask pivots and rotates. Now take note that it also has a telescopic adjustment. In fact, you have four settings to choose from to ensure a proper fit. Turn the adjustment ring clockwise so the breathing mask is fully inserted. Then push or pull on the mask. These four positions will give you the major size adjustment or macro adjustment. Once you've determined the best fit for you, take note of the setting should someone ever alter it. Should you separate the mask from the rest of the helmet, simply reattach it by aligning the flat surfaces and inserting the mask tube. You can rotate or slide the breathing mask to find your most comfortable position because of its spherical adjustment. Remember, not too high and not too low on your face. For fine tuning your mask according to the shape of your face, the adjustment ring allows you to adjust the position of the mask in or out. This adjustment is referred to as the micro adjustment. 
Turn the adjustment ring counterclockwise to extend the mask or clockwise to release it. Now that we've familiarized you with the mask adjustments, try them out in the comfort of your living room. From the factory, all settings should be in their furthest position. First, put on your balaclava. Now, to put on your BB2S helmet, open the jaw assembly, grab the chin straps, spreading them slightly as you pull the helmet on. Try the breathing mask spherical adjustment. Find which one of the four positions suits your face shape the best. Do not put too much pressure at this time. Now rotate the adjustment ring while holding the mask to fine tune and find your most comfortable position. Keep in mind that the mask system must not be over tightened. The critical factor to achieving maximum comfort and performance from your BB2S helmet is to find the perfect mask position. A light pressure on your face will do the job and seal the breathing mask properly, keeping moisture out. On the other hand, too much pressure could cause the air inlet valves to deform and no longer seal properly. An initial supply of breathing mask absorbent pads came with your new helmet. They're installed and replaced easily if you remove the jaw assembly from the helmet. These pads will assist in collecting some of the moisture that could accumulate in your breathing mask. These absorbent pads should be replaced frequently. Always ensure that the absorbent pad does not interfere with the valves. In extreme cold conditions, there is a possibility of ice accumulation around the adjustment ring air outlet. This is not abnormal in extreme cold. Should this situation ever occur, simply remove the adjustment ring cap and clean out the ice. If the ice accumulation is left unattended, the exhaled air will have no place to escape, potentially causing the valves to be stuck in an open position, allowing cold air to infiltrate the helmet or forcing your warm, moist air back into the helmet. Take this opportunity to inspect the inside of the jaw assembly for ice accumulation near the hinge and where the breathing mask joins the jaw assembly. Be sure to also inspect the air outlet valve position and condition. The BB2S helmet consists of many components which work together as a system. To replace the face shield, we recommend the use of a large flathead screwdriver. However, a quarter can be substituted should one not be available. Simply unscrew the retaining screws on either side of the visor. To install a new one, replace the two screws. Note here the O-ring on the right side. To replace the sun visor, we once again recommend the use of a large flathead screwdriver. However, a quarter can still be substituted. First, you need to remove the face shield. Remove both sun visor retaining screws. Know that the left side of the sun visor clip is spring-loaded. Remove the sun visor. There are many colors available as options, so put your favorite new sun visor in place. Secure the right side of the sun visor holder to the helmet. It's now time to reload the left side spring. With the sun visor in its upper position, push the sun visor against the helmet, holding it like this with your fingertips. Turn the spring cap clockwise until both arrows are aligned. Ensure the sun visor holder lever and the helmet sun visor stopper are in contact before reloading the spring. Hold the sun visor in place and secure it with its screw. Now reinstall the face shield. You should frequently check that the face shield and sun visor screws are properly tightened to ensure your BB2S helmet is in perfect working order. The rear LED light is powered by an integrated battery module. Batteries should last for approximately one season, but make sure to turn the light off when not in use. The power pack is located right here inside the helmet foam. It uses two AA size batteries. Bombardier recommends the use of alkaline batteries. Make sure to remove the batteries if the helmet is unused for a long period of time. The rear light module is equipped with LEDs that do not require maintenance. The helmet's polycarbonate shell and polystyrene liner may be damaged and rendered ineffective by petroleum products, cleaning agents, paint adhesives or similar products without the damage being visible. Use only warm soapy water to clean the helmet and the breathing mask. Interior liner can be removed and washed with warm soapy water. The lenses are coated with special products to reduce possibility of fogging and frosting. Use plastic lens cleaning products on these surfaces along with a soft cloth. Soft dish soap and warm water also do the job very well. Remember, this helmet is backed by a Bombardier Recreational Products Inc. warranty and a network of authorized dealers ready to provide the service, accessories and replacement parts that you may require. As you saw earlier, many of the components of your new helmet are serviceable and we highly recommend the use of genuine Bombardier Recreational Products for replacement parts and accessories. They're specifically designed for your helmet and manufactured to meet our demanding quality standards. For any questions pertaining to this warranty, its application, or for any other subject concerning our products and accessories, don't hesitate to consult your authorized Bombardier Recreational Products dealer. On behalf of Bombardier Recreational Products, Inc., I'd like to thank you for your time, and we'll see you on the trails.